first, but it did. The dollar started 2016 taking a turn for the worse. Market slumped once again to hit the 52-week lows in intraday trade. Nifty managed to cling on to 7,500, but it did end the day at its lowest level, and that was since July of 2014, going home today just 10 points more uh, above 7,500. Sensex, that lost nearly 150 points. It once again closed at its lowest level this time. Bulls are hiding. Would you now say we're in the midst of a bear's market? Well, uh, clearly, you know, let's put it this way. We are in a tough market. The bulls are in a tough market. The bears are in control of this market. So, yes, in the near term, you'll have to say that uh, this has been a bit of a bear phase, at least at the index level. Uh, and look, what happened today? The Sensex, the Nifty, the Bank Nifty made new intraday 52-week lows, at least the Nifty and the Bank Nifty did. And on closing basis, we had new 52-week lows for the Nifty and also for the Bank Nifty. So uh, a market where the index, the large cap index is at 52-week low is clearly in a tough spot. Uh, uh, today, the fall was secular. Even the mid-caps were not spared. And once again, it's the banks and IT stocks leading the decline. So let's talk about some of the stocks then where we saw big cuts in today's trade, led by the banks. PSU banks first, 52-week lows for most of them. PNB, SBI, Bank of Baroda were all lower. But not just PSU banks, even private banks were having a bit of a problem today. Indescent in Bank, after reporting a decent set of numbers, was still down 2.5%. Yes Bank was down 3%. HDFC Bank was down about 1% as well. So across the board, there was quite a bit of sell-off. Uh, uh, index heavyweights, TCS was down 1.5% ahead of its numbers. Tara Motors down 1.5%. And HDFC was down close to 1%. Apart from that, uh, on the gaining side, you had some stocks like NTPC, which was up 2.5%, Wipro was up 2%, and m, &M as well was up 2%. Finally, on to the mid-caps then, and the kind of uh, moves that we had over there, there were some, some gainers. Wokart was up 4%, Jet was up 3%, and Educom was up 5%, but uh, there were some losers as well. Stock of the day today, perhaps, was Federal Bank. Disappointing asset quality, and the stock got punished, down about 8%. Castex was down 7%. And Unitech is now a 6 rupee stock, down 6%. I wonder why it's still in FNO, but uh, that was uh, the mid-cap side of the market. So a weekday. And what was most disappointing about trade today was that Europe was up while we traded down. So uh, uh, market is clearly looking a bit nervous, and the fear factor is coming back to haunt us. Thanks a lot, Anush, for joining us with that. Let's talk about that fear factor. The world may have been hit by the Chinese flu, but the mainland indices just managing to hold their head above the green level today. The